the Majid Hack situation, um, difficult one to deal with for you uh, as a head coach? No, not difficult really. Um, it became obvious what we needed to do. Uh, and you know, it, it's, it's not the uh, situation that we'd like to have to deal with, uh, particularly at a tournament like this. Um, and in any side, you know, we, we don't want to be dealing with that situation when we're in the midst of um, playing some of the best teams in the world. Um, but, you know, I'm very um, impressed with the way that uh, Cricket Scotland have handled the situation swiftly uh, and, um, yeah, and, and, and now it enables us to just focus on uh, what is an exciting opportunity to play Australia on Saturday. It was that part of the, the reasoning behind, I suppose, you distancing yourself from, from those kind of decisions? It's one that's, that's corporate rather than a playing issue? Oh, look, um, you know, I, I had the cricket conversations with, with Majid, as I do with, uh, with all of the players. You know, as a coach, you get used to having hard conversations with players. Um, you know, we have hard conversations daily, and uh, that's, that's my job, to, to have those clear conversations with, uh, with players, particularly players who, who aren't playing. And you know they're, they're not easy to have, but um, you just got to have them. You got to give them the direct uh, clarity. Um, you got to give them honesty and and show compassion for and value for for them as people and and players, which which I always do. I always take a lot of care and pride over over that part of my coaching. Um, and if players weren't disappointed, um, there, you know that would be an issue for me. I expect them to be disappointed, not to be playing. Uh, but uh, you know, unfortunately, Madge has chosen. Uh, a way to react, uh, which has uh, contravened uh, the values of, of the side and, and the values of his employer, Cricket Scotland. And you know, I'm, I'm very impressed with the way that uh, Cricket Scotland has, has handled the issue. Uh, as you touched on, perhaps more disruptive to the squad than you would like going into the last game, and takes the shine off things a little. Uh, a, a little, but you know, I'm uh, yeah, also so impressed with the whole group. Uh, you know, it's um, it's been one of the one of the real pleasing aspects, I think, of this uh, of this tournament. You know, you can say it's a tough tournament, but um, not really. You know, it's been such an, a great golden opportunity for everyone, and above all, you know, the players have dusted themselves off after uh, each game. Uh, we've had some agonising, uh, uh, you know, pressure situations uh, on the field. Um, we've been agonisingly close to to victory. We haven't quite earned the uh, earned a W uh, as we would like at this point. Um, but every every day has been a learning day. Uh, every day has been an opportunity to just look at that day in isolation, and that's something that we set out to do right at the start of this campaign. Let's take it one day at a time, and let's just look to be better people, better players uh, for uh, every every experience we're gathering. And uh, I've been so impressed with with the way. Uh, the leadership group, uh, particularly the captain, has, has handled himself and handled the team uh, throughout this tour. And, uh, and and the guys, you know, put in another good shift yesterday. It was a it was a tough game against uh, Sri Lanka, uh, but you know, despite uh, the off-field uh, disturbances or, or distractions, I guess um, that were going on, uh, it didn't take away uh, from the other players. You know, absolutely looking forward to an opportunity to play uh, a, a top-tier nation such as Sri Lanka.